Councilman Landsman touched on it, the growing battleground in the fight over reopening schools, and there is no consensus when it comes to that. Some experts say schools need to reopen, and others say it's too risky. We have team coverage of this intensifying debate. We begin with Brad Underwood, where one school's decision is costing jobs. He's in Coryville with that story. Brad. Well, good evening, Paul. You know, two weeks ago when Cincinnati Public Schools picked that blended model of learning for the fall, they projected to make that happen financially. It was going to take about 726 positions in the district to be cut. Now, we know tonight that that number of cuts nowhere near that first projected number, but still any number of cuts hard for teachers to accept. When students and staff return to school, they'll be without 14 high school math teachers who are now unemployed. It's not only going to hurt our kids, but as we know, mathematics and technology and career paths all go hand in hand. We're not preparing our kids for 2020 if we're not focusing on what their weaknesses are. The Cincinnati Federation of Teachers says all of them just finished their first year. To make the blended model work financially, the original projection was 726 cuts. That shrank to 119 upon further examination, and those positions did get cut. Jobs like specialists, mentors, and instructional coaches. However, those teachers got reassigned, moved to vacancies, and new jobs to stay employed. It is with um, a saddened heart to bring and make a recommendation to um, displace people out of their jobs. And so please understand that these decisions were not made lightly, that we took a lot of time and care to try to be able to lower the number as low as possible. While 14 is the number given today, it's not the whole story. Part of that reduction includes rescinding new teacher contracts. The teachers union says 48 teachers who would have started new jobs in the fall with CPS now won't. We need to be adding teacher positions so that we can best serve our students' needs, um, whether remote or in a blended learning model later when it's safer. Uh, but it is incredibly disconcerting that my colleagues are receiving notice this week that they have lost their positions and the public doesn't even know. Okay, so let's say a teacher gets sick or retires. According to the teachers' union, if there is a vacancy, the collective bargaining agreement requires the district to offer reemployment to those teachers with that same classification before anyone else. So it is likely if there are vacancies, some of these teachers who lost their job would be able to get them back pretty quickly. We'll see what happens next month. We expect more announcements from the district. Reporting live in Coryville, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Paula. Yeah, ever changing. All right, thank you, Brad.